Hello Internet, Raptor7717 here, here to bring you a review of this fountain pen, the cheapest or least expensive rather fountain pen in my collection. It is the Skillcraft Executive, and I will bring in the packaging here. It says Skillcraft, it says Executive Fountain Pen. It's got blue ink and black ink and it apparently has a fine point. Uh, attractive design fountain pen, all metal barrel, durable lack of finish. Uh, yeah, anyway, cartridge pen, that's about all it says. Anyway, this was made by Industries for the Blind. Skillcraft is a company that assembles, or sometimes I think it just makes, but I think it mostly assembles um, products uh, using blind people so that they can have uh, jobs. Um, and it's a really nice. Uh, company. It makes mostly pens for the government and stuff like that, so if you work in the US government you probably have uh, come across a Skillcraft thing or two, though I doubt the fountain pens are widely distributed there. Anyway, um, let's take a look at the pen. This pen did cost two and a half dollars, so you know, interesting. The top there's nothing, uh, just kind of a gold looking thing. Uh, it kind of tapers, or rather, I guess it, I guess you can say tapers, uh, back down to the center band here. The clip is just, well, I guess I, I could say just, but it's got this interesting clip design that I hadn't seen in a lot of places. That's sort of a metal tension bar, and it's pretty solid, works fairly well. Uh, it does fit in your pocket and stay. The center band says Skillcraft does not have the logo, but it does say Skillcraft. You get these three gold bands, or rather, they're probably brass bands, this blue lacquered body, and a uh, little gold colored end little cap thing. The section here is a black lacquer. It's got a slight step down here, tapers and flares out at the end to prevent your fingers slipping off. It's a fairly standard section. Uh, pretty nice to hold. Not uncomfortable at all. Then you have the nib, which just says Iridium Point, it doesn't even say Germany, and has a little bit of scroll work. Pretty standard. You unscrew the pen, and you can put your cartridges in here. This is a standard blue cartridge that came with it. You can also fit another cartridge in the barrel. This is a black one. And it did come with three cartridges, so here's another black one that it came with. Anyway. So, you do get three cartridges with the pen, which is more than you get with most other pens. You get usually between one and two cartridges. It does post, not the most securely in the world. Um, posting does make it a bit big, although it is a pretty light pen, even though it's all metal in the first place. Which, it is metal. Uh, it doesn't affect the balance too much, but it does affect the balance enough that I don't particularly like it. But I don't post my pens uh, in the first place, so kind of not the person to ask about that. One thing that does feel a bit cheap about this pen is the cap mechanism. There's no, it's not a, it does click, but it's not a very satisfying click, and you kind of hear it bounce off of something and then click into place. Not a big deal. Uh, it works, and it's never, it's not coming off. It's not a, not a loose seal by any means. It just feels kind of cheap putting it on. Um, there is no, for a two and a half dollar pen, there is absolutely no finishing problems. It's a nice, even finish. It doesn't go all over onto the... Uh, the lacquer doesn't spill onto the trim or anything like that. It is very nice and very solid. So yeah, I think now it's time we go on to the writing sample portion. Okay, writing with the... focus with the focus. It's not focusing. So writing with the skill craft Tiv I can't spell executive because I'm dumb. Um the nib is supposed to be fine, but I would say it's more of a medium. The ink is just a cartridge that came with the pen. So let's get to the regular writing. 
quick brown fox. That was me holding the pen wrong. Over the lazy dog. That was me not touching the pen of the paper. I'm really making this pen seem worse than it is, which is a complete lie. Let's see. Let's uh, just do some fast writing. That was just scribbling in the end. There was a bit of a skip here with the D. So it's not perfect, it's not a flawless pen. But if you're going slow, and you hold the pen right, you see that it doesn't really have uh, any sort of problems. That was me actually holding the pen wrong, which, you know, is kind of easier to do with this pen. It is a kind of a finicky pen, but it does just lay down a line. It's not the smoothest pen in the world, but it's not particularly scratchy. There's no digging into the paper or anything like that. And it keeps up fairly well, as you can see, it keeps line does keep up. As for any line variation, there is virtually none. Uh, the pen is already as I would have said, a medium, and so there's virtually no line variation, um, although in standalone it does kind of look like there is, there isn't much. Uh, I wouldn't really um, say that it has much variation in line at all. Uh, as to wetness, it is kind of dry, um, but I guess that's to be expected. Uh, this feed seems to be adjustable, so you could probably uh, mess with it a little bit and get your pen to write a little bit wetter. As for me, I personally like uh, more dry pens that don't bleed through very much because I can write on my surfaces like that. Uh, I prefer finer pens. This is a bit of a medium, like I said, which is something I'm not exactly used to. But for two and a half dollars, I have to say that this pen is exquisite. You put the cartridge in and you shake it once. There's no, or I guess, shake. You're supposed to kind of just wave it around a little bit, but I shake pretty violently um, once or twice to try and get ink in there, and it just wrote straight away. I've had no um, burps. I've even dropped it a few times. It hasn't just spat ink at me yet, although I wouldn't recommend doing that. Don't recommend doing that with any pen. Uh, it hasn't gotten damaged yet. I have taken it around uh, and used it quite a bit. Uh, not, I mean, enough to get the ink a bit low in this cartridge there, about half that cartridge worth of use. Um, it's so, so far been pretty nice. I haven't suffered any problems with it. Even the skipping that uh, you saw there is pretty unusual. Probably has something to do with the fact that I was holding it uh, next to a very hot light, which is up here that you can't see. And uh, I didn't write with it for a while while I was explaining uh, how it worked and it was uncapped and everything, probably should have tested it or just scribbled with it before I started writing for this review. Anyway, it's a good pen. I would recommend picking it up for two and a half dollars. You really can't go wrong and uh, it's a really nice pen. It writes better than some uh, much more expensive pens than I've used. Anyway, that's all I have. Goodbye.